So here's something else which I've been doing on a daily basis within coronavirus lockdown. I mean, the Switch in general I think is a really good console and I love the games on there. But most importantly, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I am addicted and I have played it on a daily basis since I got the game, which I think is about 12 days straight. So, yeah. On a more genuine note though, I do think having a console and a game which you can really get into and really enjoy is a really good thing to do during the coronavirus lockdown because you can spend loads of time on there and not kind of realise how much time has passed and that's the best thing that we can do in this situation. So this morning has now finished. I still have a lovely sleepy doggo just here. Oh baby. And it is now about half past 12, so I'm probably going to turn this off and make myself some lunch because I haven't done anything all day. Especially during lockdown, I really have not been very productive in the morning, on any morning. I need to sort this out. This looks really bad. Let's ignore that for now. Um, yeah, so the majority of things that I do are in the afternoon. It's kind of normal that I put the TV on for a few hours and just play my games. And then things that I want to or need to do, I will do in the afternoon. So I'm going to make myself some lunch and then crack on with everything that I want to get done. I'm just about to sort myself out some lunch and I'm thinking I'm going to whisk these up and put in some ham and some cheese and then put it in the frying pan and I'm going to make an omelette and then I'm going to have my favourite crisps of all time to go with that as well. Sprinkle in some bits of ham as well. Oh that's quite a lot of ham. I might put some more cheese in. There we go. A little bit more cheese. And let's mix that up and put it on to cook. So I'm just using the Fry Light Golden Sunflower Cooking Spray. This is really good for you because there's like basically hardly any calories in it. So just spray that all over so obviously it doesn't get stuck to the pan. Like so. And then leave it to cook. Is that, oh god, look at me. Is that sizzle not just the best sound in the world? I love that sound. I promise I'm gonna sort all this out in a minute. I look an absolute state. Wow, this looks appetizing. So obviously I have my omelette there. While that was cooking, I did um, sort out a carrot because I can chomp on that as if it was like a chocolate bar or something. I'll just eat the whole thing. And then obviously my favourite packet of crisps as well. I am like really trying to keep healthy eating in the back of my mind throughout the whole of this. Um, it is usual that I snack on something crap throughout the evening. Um, so during the day I know that this doesn't necessarily look the best but just trying to keep a little bit healthy and I have been doing more at home workouts as well so obviously I don't want to kind of cancel out the effect of those because then it would all be for nothing um, yeah I want to come out of quarantine with a bod do you know what I mean like it's not going to happen because I like chocolate and crisps too much but the intention's there you know and it's the thought that counts, isn't it? So While I'm eating my lunch, I'm just sat at the dinner table where we've already completed one jigsaw, if you can see that under there. And then we're starting our second one by we, I obviously mean my whole family. So while I'm eating this, I'll just have a quick browse through all of the pieces and see if I can fit anything in. This is the new picture that we're working on right now, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you. 
I am now showered, looking and feeling a hundred times better because um, I was feeling rather lethargic today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get dried and dressed and then I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. So what I'm going to do now is attempt a makeup look and I'll post a little picture here showing what I'm going to attempt to do. So this was done by a really good friend of mine called Sasha and she's part of the dance family which I train and perform with um, and she is absolutely amazing at makeup. So she's done a little tutorial, she's put a private video on fa uh, YouTube sorry, and shared the link with us so that we can all in the group have a go. So that's what I'm going to have a go at today because if you guys have ever seen like my makeup videos you can see that like I enjoy makeup but in terms of these kind of really elaborate eyeshadow looks I am nowhere near good. So that is what I'm going to try and learn today. Okay so I feel like this looks really silly at the moment because I never do my eyebrows but so far I have coloured and contoured them um, and put like concealer around the edges as well. I don't know if I've gone too hard with this, like I say I never usually do my eyebrows but hopefully once everything else is on it'll kind of like balance out my face because right now I feel like I look stupid so we'll just keep going and hope for the best. So for this look she mentioned that she's using, using using the James Charles palette. Well I don't have that so for a pink look I'm going to be mixing the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette which looks like that there. And then I'm also going to be using the Morphe, I'm probably going to use this one most out of the two, um, the Morphe Hey Girl Hey palette which is that one there. I feel like I look ill now, but we'll keep moving. I also just wanted to mention that this is a lifesaver. So it's Dazzle Makeup Brush Colour Sweeper. And so you open it up and it's like this sponge material inside. And you literally just swirl your brush about in there and then all the colour comes off so you can carry on using the brush during your makeup look and then obviously give it a proper wash once you've finished the whole thing but it's just an easy way to take your colour off I really don't think I'm doing this right oh god it looks like I've been crying over here I have so far attempted to cut the crease Still don't think I'm doing very well. This one looks painful. This one I feel is doing a little bit better, but we'll see. And this is what I've come up with. Um, I don't know how much the camera is actually showing, so I will add in a couple of selfies that I've taken. This is a bit better lighting. I've got my ring light here as well, so I'm just going to turn that on so you can get the full effect. <laughs> um, it's still nowhere near as good as what Sasha did it, but because I barely ever do makeup of this extreme, I'm really feeling myself right now, so why the hell not? Right, there we go, let's put that over there. So this is the look that I've, that's hanging off really badly. Right, let's ignore that, because I can't be bothered to get my glue back out. But this is what I've created. And I bet everyone who saw me at the start of this little makeup segment was thinking exactly what I was thinking as well, and that it's going to turn out an absolute pile of rubbish. And... I think I've surprised myself, so yay me. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna, or, oh, I might pull that off in a minute. I think I'm definitely gonna try and experiment more with makeup, cause like I said, I'm really feeling myself right now. I'm feeling really good and everyone deserves to feel like that, you know? So 
I'm going to try and play with makeup a bit more, get my skills a bit better, and just love myself. That, that went really deep really quickly and I really didn't intend it to, but here we are. <laughs> so I'm now out walking the doggo, still with all my makeup on because I mean, somebody's got to see it. It can't just be pointless now, can it? So I still look like this, but here we are. It's isolation, what more can you do? Also, because I rarely wear eyelashes, I'm holding this so weird, because I wear eyelashes so rarely, they're like flapping in the wind and I'm not used to it, so it's making my eyes water. I don't know if you can even tell, but oh, it's a load of new experiences today, guys, I tell you that. <laughs> I'm chatting so much tosh, I tell you, but got to entertain you somehow on a isolation vlog haven't I so this is our exercise walk for the day oh. okay so the time is 10 to 7 p.m. and obviously I've still got this on my face minus the false eyelashes they were hanging off anyway so I've just pulled those off um, I've had some tea and I think it's time to take this makeup off now because as much as I love it my skin needs to breathe hello <laughs> yeah my skin needs to breathe and if I don't take it off now I'll probably end up taking it off with either a makeup wipe or even worse not at all that's really bad don't do that um I've got something in my eye yeah, so I'm just using the Garnier Micellar Water and then obviously some face pads as well and I'm just going to take all of this off but at least it was a vlog day. At least it's going to be shown to the world because I am sad to take it off. Maybe I'll try something again tomorrow and just like home in my makeup skills. I don't know. We'll see. If I do do that, it'll probably go on my Instagram first. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, there is a link down in the description. Make sure to do that. <sighs> I swear to God, this isolation thing. I keep doing things to, like, interest myself and feel like I'm not bored. And then I feel like it all just kind of hits me in the same moment. And I just, oh, you know... Although today's been one of the better days, probably because I've been thinking about vlogging and talking to you guys and having stuff to actually fill out my video with, because it would be a bit pointless if I didn't have anything that I was actually doing that day and just lazed around like I do most days, to be fair. Um, I cannot, cannot wait until all of this is over. I can go outside and I can meet people and I can have a good old Nando's. That's what I'm really missing, Anandos. So I hope you're all doing well within this isolation situation. Did that rhyme? That's not a rhyme, is it? Isolation situation? No. Sounded cool though. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all keeping safe and sane. And yeah, we'll all get through this together. Just stay indoors for now. And make the most of it not much else to say on that topic really is that i'm gonna shut up now because i know that i'm just waffling on like i usually do but here we are oh lovely it looks like it's kind of stained my eye fab it's just what I wanted. At least I'm in isolation. No one can judge my stained eye if nobody sees it. Complete addiction and no regrets. So now it is almost eight o'clock and we're gonna do an online pub quiz. 
quiz. I don't know the name of this guy. I think it's something J or something like that. I've just seen it fly past in the chat here. Um, but we did one last week. Well, he did one last week and we joined in and wrote all our answers down. Obviously not competing against anybody because there is like thousands of people watching this. But it's just something fun and enjoyable to do. Breaks up your day in isolation. So yeah, I just really enjoy doing this every Thursday and I'm going to go downstairs because we do it all as a family. So before I put our answers in the recycling, I just thought I'd show you guys how we did. I mean, we got 10 out of 10 on the music quiz. Um, so these are some of our better answers and then general knowledge we only got three which gave us a total of 31 out of 50 better than last week's score but obviously it's just for fun nobody wins anything there's no kind of ranking or anything like that it's just for fun so let's put that in there and I did really enjoy doing it actually so uh yeah, I think that's going to be definitely become a weekly staple for us on a Thursday evening. Um, just a YouTube live stream thing, so if you guys are wanting to get involved as well, then it's just a virtual pub quiz on YouTube. Um, but yeah, just something really good fun and like all of my family get involved, so yeah, it's great. Yeah, so probably some more Animal Crossing and just chilling, maybe a film or Netflix or something like that before I go to sleep. Um, I am also starting to get a bit of a belly ache, which is annoying. I'm not too sure why, but I've got just some shooting pains. I don't know. It'll be fine by the morning, I'm sure. But, yeah, it's just making me want to chill out and not really do anything. I just feel a bit shitty, to be fair. So, I'm just going to sign off here and I'll speak to you guys another day. If you did like this video, then please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below and I will see all you guys next time. Bye guys.